Ha ha ha. Where is the basement? All right, welcome to our scene on Good Pasture Syndrome, represented by this good pasture over here. These farmers have these good pasture over here for their animals, but they're hiding now in the basement to run away from these monsters up here. So these monsters over here fell down from the moon. So this car over here crashed into the moon, the auto went to the moon, and then they came down. The auto in the moon is gonna help us remember that Good Pasture Syndrome is an autoimmune disease, and these guys over here who are trying to find the basement are to help us remember that in Good Pasture Syndrome, there are autoantibodies against the basement membrane, specifically against collagen type four. And that's why they're holding this door over here. Let's remember that there are autoantibodies against co collagen type four. Now what happens when the autoantibodies go against the basement membrane? So let's take a look. That's what's going on down here. Patients will present with lung problems, represented by the lungs over here, as well as problems with the kidneys, represented by this nephron over here. Let's explain. So in Good Pasture Syndrome, when the autoantibodies attack the basement membrane of the alveoli, it can lead to hemoptysis, represented by these blood on his shirt that he had from coughing up blood. When the autoantibodies attack the basement membrane of the renal glomerulus, it can lead to glomerulonephritis, represented by this nephron over here on fire. And this could lead to kidney damage. And if you'll note, there's actually blood on the floor over here coming out of the nephron to help us remember the hematuria that can develop. Let's take a look at this immunofluorescence that randomly is in the back of the scene over here. Here we see the linear pattern of the antibodies against the basement membrane in this picture of the glomerulus in immunofluorescence. Okay, that's our scene on Good Pasture Syndrome. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.